that saying that um, no matter how clean you wash a pig, huh? if you take that pig from a village to the city, the pig will still go and look for a mud, you know, to play with. You see character, they say, it's like pregnancy. <laughs> when it's mature, you cannot hide it. A Nigerian brother of ours has been sentenced to 12 years imprisonment in the UK and after which, after serving that 12 years, he will be deported back to Nigeria. And this brother only arrived the UK six weeks, six weeks before this incident happened. I will let you guys know how everything happened. I will also read for you guys. But before then, it will be proper for me to welcome you back to my platform. You are highly welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Joanne and I'm based here in England. What I do on this channel, I talk about life realities of Africans, Asians, here in the UK and you know, in the diaspora at large. So if you're interested in such content, please subscribe to my channel. And for my returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch my videos. God bless you. Click on the like button, please. Click on the like button, it will help this video. With that being said, guys, so this is our Nigerian brother who is known as Lazarus Ole. Arrived the UK, he's a 38 years, 38 years old man. He arrived the UK uh, in August 2022. And this incident happened around October 2022. According to the news, he only arrived six weeks to the UK. This UK that people are praying, God, God, I need money so I can get visa. Some people even have the money. They can't even see the right source to be able to get the visa to relocate to the UK or even to come and study. You that had the opportunity, see how you just use your hand to scatter everything. He arrived into the UK, August, and in October, Halloween night in October, I think around 29th of October 2022, a young lady, a teenager, was coming back from the club drunk. You guys know how some of these teenagers are. They go to club, especially when it's night club, Halloween night, Friday night. They drink. Some of them just drink to stupor. She was coming back drunk. And this, our Nigeria brother, brother Lazarus Ole, approached her. After a little bit of, you know, conversation, he took her into his car, drove her to a flat where he did the jiggy jiggy jiggy. After which he put her back, he took her back into his car and, you know, drove her to a street and dropped her there. Drop her off there. You know, some people, when they do things, they'll think that people will not see them. Even if nobody is seeing you, this country, we don't even need God too much sometimes. Camera, CCTV cameras are there. You understand? So he dropped her and drove away. He thought that he had succeeded. Not knowing that there were cameras, you know, that would be traced to his car and everything so when the girl got home she discovered after she recovered herself with the help of her friends she discovered that somebody had jiggy jiggy her. they reported they tried to trace trace and they discovered that it is this our brother who has done the jiggy jiggy they charged him to court at first they didn't get enough evidence so they left him but they now did a retrial according to the news they did a retrial after seven days, they discovered that of a true, he is guilty. He was the one. And he has been sentenced to 12 years imprisonment. He will go kiri kiri for inside UK. After spending 12 years, they will not send him back to his mother's land, where he came from. Imagine, you arrived in the UK six weeks. Six weeks. Some people will say that juju or na village people. No be village people, no be juju. Something he has been doing back home. He brought it to the UK. Where the law, there are laws. Where the system works. If it's in some other countries that this guy was caught, he will go scot free. Or they will even use money to cover the case. But because he came to a country that the system works, they want Nigeria to work, but they are not ready to work. Now he's in a country that is working. Look at what he finds himself now. Guys, I don't want to talk too much, eh? Let me read for you guys so that you will understand better. At least the reading will give you proper understanding. Guys, it reads. It says, 
um, Nigeria man to be deported after spending 12 years in jail for taking advantage of a teenager six weeks after arriving in the UK. Lazarus Ole, a Nigerian based in the United Kingdom, has been sentenced to 12 years in prison for taking advantage of a teenager. According to a report from the UK tabloids, Ole is also to be deported to Nigeria once the prison sentence is completed. The 38-year-old Nigerian begged the sentence after he was tried at all crown courts on Wednesday. The incident was said to have happened on October 29, 2022. On the night of the incident, Ole was said to have targeted the then 18-year-old lone victim, who was reportedly drunk at the time. The victim was returning from a Halloween-themed event at a nightclub in the city when she ran into Ole. On sighting the victim, Ole was said to have approached her after engaging her in a short conversation. He then led her to his car, according to Ethan Addison, a detective constable at Umberside Police. Ole sat the victim in the passenger seat and subsequently drove her to a nearby flat where he took advantage of her. The victim was later dropped off in the New Bridge Road area of the city, where she sought assistance from her friends. Ole of Bermond Street, all denying taking advantage of the woman, but he was convicted by a jury at all crown courts after a retrial spanning about seven days. An earlier jury is an earlier jury in April had been unable to reach a verdict. Ole is a clear danger to women. He was waiting for an opportunity that night to take and take advantage of the girl, Addison said. According to a report, Ole, hmm, this is really sad, guys, had only arrived the UK from Nigeria and spent six weeks in the country. Ah, when the incident happened. All right, guys, you've seen it, you've heard when I read it from the news desk. I think I got that from Easter blog, Ninja. So things are indeed happening, like a lot of things are happening. When I saw the news at first, I was like, ah, a young guy like this, ah, ah, this thing, this thing of five minutes, five minutes pleasure. Look at what five minutes pleasure has cost you. I don't understand. Some people will say his congee is this. What do you mean by his congee? In UK, a 38 years old man. Some 35 years old guys are even married in the UK. Some 28, they are married in the UK. So what stops you from getting married? Or even having a girlfriend? You prefer to go and be looking for small, small children to jiggy jiggy. You see how your life ended. I'm not going to say your life ended anyway. But you are going to Kiri Kiri for 12 years. After 12 years, you'll be back to motherland. You know that they've stamped your passport. Criminal. Repi repi. Everything is in your passport. So which visa will you get? Even if not UK, you want to go to Canada, America. Why did they deport you from UK? It will be there on record. So we have to be careful, guys. I'll see you in my next update. Share my video. Click on the like button. Bye.